Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, how to send smart form PDF as an email attachment. And in the previous video, we discussed that we will use the various standard SAP classes to achieve our requirement. Those standard classes are related to business communication services. Now, we have a sequence of steps whenever we want to send smart form PDF as an email and we will follow all those steps one by one and total we will perform 11 steps. Total we have 11 steps and the best part is whenever you will get this kind of requirement, we need to perform these steps one by one. Now I will go to the program. In this program, we developed this program. In this program, we simply converted the smart form output to PDF. If you remember how we converted, firstly, we get the OTF. What is OTF stands for output text format. Once we get the OTF, then we converted that OTF to PDF. And after that, we simply, simply downloaded that particular PDF. So at that time, we followed two steps. We simply, simply firstly get the OTF. Then we converted that OTF to PDF and then we downloaded. Now we are not going for downloading process. We are sending the mail of smartphone PDF. How we can go for or how we can achieve this. Before going for the standard classes, before using the standard classes, what is the first step? The first step is get the bin file of the smartphone. Get the bin file of the smartphone. If you see, we have this convert underscore OTF function module, which is converting our smartphone output to PDF, which is converting our smartphone OTF to PDF. Have you seen? We have a parameter bin underscore file. So firstly, we will get the bin underscore file. Now, firstly, I will uncomment this importing. I will uncomment this bin underscore file. See, here it is the part of importing. It means in this function module, it will be the part of exporting. So, firstly, I will give some name in front of bin underscore file. Suppose I'm saying LV underscore file. We are getting the binary file. We are getting the binary file. I will double click onto this function module. I will simply go to exporting. See bin underscore file is of this type. So I will simply copy this type. You all know X string is a data type. String and X string are the data types of variable length. They can store data of any length. We already covered that topic. What are the various types of data types? Yes. So X string and string are what they are variable length data types. So I what I will do, I'll simply simply declare lv underscore file type x string. So what is the first step? We simply simply retrieve the bin underscore file binary file of the smartphone and it is returning in which format? x string format. Now we will go for the next step. 
So in this LV underscore file, in this LV underscore file, we got the binary file in which format? X string format, X string format. Now, what is the next step? The first step is over. What is the next step? Convert the bin file from X string format to binary format. Now, whatever the binary file we received in X string format, we need to convert it to binary format. Now, SAP already provided a predefined function module. We will use that function module to convert the binary file from X string format to binary format. So what is the name of the function module? I will go to SC37 transaction code. Now, the name of the function module is scms underscore xstring underscore two underscore binary. This function module will convert from xstring to binary. So I will simply, simply copy this function module. I will put enter here. And now I will simply, simply go to pattern button. You all know you can call the function module through pattern button. I will pass the name of the function module. Now, in front of buffer, in front of buffer, I will pass the name of the binary file, which is in X string format. Yes. We are getting the binary file in which particular parameter LV underscore file and LV underscore file is of which type X string. So I will simply, simply pass this. Now, in this binary underscore tab, we will get the file. We will get the file in which format binary format. So I will simply, simply declare one internal table, LT underscore binary underscore tab. So with the help of this function module, have you seen? We are passing the file into X string format, X string. X string is a data type itself. It's a data type of variable length, which can store any number of data. Anyways, I will not go into detail of this, what is X string data type and what is a, if you want to see the difference between string and X string data type is string is a collection of characters. It can store any number of characters, X string also, but it stores the data in the form of bytes, bytes. This is the major difference between string and X string data type, but both can store any number of data. We pass the data in X string format, and now we are getting that data in binary format, binary format. Now, what will be the type of this internal table? It will be same as that of binary underscore tab. Now I will go to tables tab and I will check the type of this binary underscore tab. So I will simply double click and we will cover the important part here. If you will go to tables binary underscore tab, SAP has not given any type. So what I will do, I will write some type and once we will go to next step, I will let you know that how I come to know this particular type. Whenever we will go for the classes, at that time I show you that how, how we got this particular type of this internal table. So as of now, if I will declare LT underscore binary underscore tab, I will write data. LT underscore binary underscore tab. I'm writing type 
S O L I X underscore tag. If I will double click here, it is a table type. It is a table type which has this structure and structure has this particular column. This particular column, what is the name of the column line? It is clearly saying it is for binary data, binary data. Now, how I check this particular type because maximum people will ask. We are always, always double clicking and checking the type. How you come to know that we need to declare this LT underscore binary tab type solix underscore tab. Just wait for next future steps to come then you will automatically get the answer. Because if I will go to this function module, in this function module, SAP has not given any type of this. So with the help of this function module, we will not be able to recognize. But once we will go to next step, you will automatically recognize. So I will simply check the syntax up to this level and I will activate this. So what is the summary of the video up to this level? Now, in this video, we started with the steps. If I want to send a mail of smartphone PDF, how I can do for the same? And as a part of that, we started with the first step. What is first step? The first step is you need to get the binary file of the smartphone. So we simply uncommented importing, we uncommented the parameter bin underscore file and we gave some name in front of this parameter. When we double clicked and check here, it is importing. So in the function module, it is the part of exporting. So we are getting the binary file into which particular format X string format string and x string they are two data types of variable length they can store data of any length the difference between string and x string is string can store string is a collection of character it can store any number of character but x string store the data in form of bytes bytes Anyways, it can store any length of data. So we got the data into this X string format. Now, after that, we need to convert the X string to binary format. So SAP provided the function module. We used this function module. We pass the file in X string format and we got that data into binary format and this particular internal table in which we will get the data in binary format it is of this particular type and the type how i come to know the type of this that you will automatically come to know once we will go for the upcoming steps now in the next video we will simply, simply come on to the classes. As of now, we have not used any classes. We simply, simply got the data. We simply got the data in the binary format. Yes, now we have the data. Yes, we will simply, simply send that data through the email. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.